this is something that I feel strongly about, something that I was thinking about all day. I don't, I don't understand this, this, like, culture of, of, of hatred that still exists in our world. Like, what is going on? Like, enough is enough. And, and here's the thing, hatred and, and fear that existed and exists because people are different than you, uh, because people are a different religion, or people are, are a different skin color, or because, um, you know, your, their sexual orientation, those days are done. And that's how we make this world a better place. Now look, I haven't watched the news uh, since November 2016. Zero. I, I don't watch the news at all. It's never on my television. I don't read the news. None of that. Wow. And I'm still alive and successful. Imagine that. Look, if I, can, if I could encourage you to do one thing different just right out of the gate, is stop watching the news. It just makes you feel like the world is, um, you know, going to hell in a handbasket really quickly and you forget about all the good that exists in the world. And if you feel like the world is ending tomorrow, then by all, you know, for goodness sakes, what would, what would make you feel like you needed to do anything the next day? You just live in this like perpetual state of just like, you know, dwelling and not getting anything done because why should you, you know, the world's going to end tomorrow. I mean, you got to be positive. You have to believe that good can overcome evil and you have to really just live it you know you don't need to hate someone because they're different you need to embrace them because they're different you need to embrace them because they don't believe the same thing that you do this idea that unfortunately is passed down from generation to generation of hatred because someone is different system of belief I believe is on the way out because people like myself, I'm teaching my children to love people because they're different, to love people because they look different, because they think differently. Positivity wins every single time. This isn't a new concept. This is, you know, people that I listen to like Gary Vaynerchuk and, and heck, Tony Robbins and all these people, they've been saying this forever and it's nothing new. Positivity wins every single time. Be the change in the world that we need. And it starts within the walls of our own home. And that's the truth. You're on my hair, you know. Your head is on my hair.